YouTube. That's how they call this whole big industry. But is it YouTube? From our their position, YouTube? Or is it Crony Tube? That's the question I want you to ask. Back in the time, it was so fun of YouTube. You can make a video about anything what you want. And you can actually make one journey or journey or you without that some political dipshits on society you because you use words in their country that I don't like. Even for example from origin the word vegit means one stick. Only in America uh, since the night end of the 19th century or something like that well oh, actually to the, uh, it's the 20th century uh, people being uh, used for homosexual people but it still mean from back in the time a stick it can also be in britain actually and faggot is a cigarette on a cancer stick or one nicotine and Joe. <laughs> so I have many definitions. So don't feel offensive. Know where the person comes from, and then you can maybe judge from what you think that he means. Also, I mean, many several different words also sometimes. Are appropriate. I, for example, find it very offensive to call some person how is uh, is unloyal to their husband or boyfriend, call them bitch or somebody they lie and trick you. And you know what a bitch truly is? A um, bitch is one female dog. Since dogs are friendly and loyal and relevant and don't do something to you what that woman do, it is pretty stupid. Sorry that I have said, it is pretty stupid to call uh, a woman a bitch that you don't like. That have to be one of the most greatest compliments that you ever can give. Look what you humans all do. Stealing, manipulating, lying. Humans have to be the most disgusting slur on the whole planet. Look at our history and look at my video, um, Human, the lowest animal, and part two of that. Put a couple of days from now online. But now look to what we walk from the four. We look on the four. YouTube. Is it a business tube? Is it crony tube? Or is it YouTube? YouTube is uh, offensive because of um, some YouTuber that uh, have made racist comments and they are on its racist uh, uh, comments. They have been. Uh, most video it being one marketing app from coca-cola and now a whole lot of um, big companies want to put the apps from uh, YouTube and therefore YouTube threatened his uh, subscriber I what they find offensive or controversial to put on Put to stagger out channels. For example, if you have a channel that say and you make videos um, over something like um, 
real problems in the planet. Because, for uh, example, um, how the meat, dairy, and egg industry kill people in poor countries because they're with their unfair business practices, steal products from uh, food from the countries, so that they're starved from starvation and children in poor countries, and that they can feed billions and billions of animals in the first world, that uh, then be forced to in life and live a life of terrible misery and that's if you talk about that kind of stuff uh, because humans are don't like the true and all true of the past the true stages uh, YouTube won't have me anymore su uh, support you and say uh, fuck you with fuck chains you become extremely uh, conservative in their policies been afraid for change of opinion. But in the other way, uh, YouTube supports still uh, people like um, Furious Pete, how support obesity, how support animal cruelty, how support eating disorders, yes, eating large amounts of hamburgers, putting your face full with Fast food is creating an eating disorder. Also, animal products that are not a little bit controversial are being the main cause of all Western diseases. So how can it be offensive to tell people about what they uh, do bad? All right, so where does that leave us? These are the top 15 causes of death, the top 15 reasons Americans die. And a plant-based diet can help prevent nearly all of them, can help treat more than half of them, and in some cases even reverse the progression of disease, including our top three killers. Now, there are drugs that can help too, right? You can take one drug to treat uh, cholesterol every day for the, uh, the rest of your life, another drug for blood sugars, uh, a few more pills for, uh, for, your, for your blood pressure. The same diet, though, does it all, right? It's not like, you know, one diet for this and then a different diet for this, right? One diet to rule them all. For their own health, for the planet, and for the animals. And not doing these thing that caused all these problems. Here, here is a last contradiction in your policies. Still, you also support still um, Facebook doodles as well. And they support still um, hunting and hunting videos. But they don't allow content that's intended to incite violence or encourage dangerous activities. And yet videos, entire channels, and social media posts of people killing and skinning living beings for pleasure, or posing in the skin of other beings who were anally and genitally electrocuted and skinned alive, or roasting dead carcasses with unmitigated glee, are totally acceptable. While my speech and other activists are speaking out against such violence in an educational manner, as YouTube states is an exception, these accounts and individuals are actively promoting violence against YouTube's own stated standards of shocking, sensational, and disrespectful presentation, void of any clear educational framing. Yet it's the promoters of violence YouTube protects, while they censor, restrict, or shut down entirely those of us pointing to the truth behind these socially accepted atrocities. Of course, the ultimate manifestation of this absurd and illogical bias would be if this video you're currently watching were to be flagged and age-restricted for showing this very footage from other channels that not only remains unrestricted, but is also deemed advertiser-friendly. Take this gustatorial perversity, for example. I'd hazard a guess that were I to present this very footage on my channel within a vegan framework, I'd have yet another age restriction and advertiser pullout on my hands. You see, I often receive notices from YouTube saying that my videos, which show the reality of what we do to animals, are not appropriate for advertisers, and all ads have been pulled. This is not due to copyright, but simply because advertisers don't want to go near them. 
Society wants the end product without having to acknowledge the process. It's inappropriate to make people think about the lives they have paid to ruin. We can't have a pre-roll ad for pizza be followed by the truth about the rape, kidnapping, torture, abuse, confinement, and murder that went into every slice. Now can we? As vegan animal activists, our most vital tool is our voice. We are more or less powerless to directly halt the mass slaughter of trillions of innocent beings every year. Our power lies in speaking out, in educating, in presenting the truth. You make a video where you actually say something about the legal forms of um, murder, because that's what I'm going to mean. Don't feel offense by that. By the way, it's just the truth. I've been an anthropocentrist. It's not what I. But let me now go back. If you look to what businesses actually want, businesses exist to make money. So, there are a lot of PRs. That's um, manipul. That's their uh, pay to manipulate groups, make propaganda, and lie. That's what P PRs actually do. They make they make things a little bit look a little bit better than they in reality. Be. Let's be honest. Have you any idea? Some of that uh, companies, maybe I do a video about it, but some of the companies that have actually say to YouTube, I don't want to be um, that my apps come on software of uh, offensive stuff, like uh, somebody make that make a racist joke, or somebody that make a sexist joke, uh, that's actually a business um, line and they want to make themselves a little bit look a bit better. But in reality, uh, if we look to the core of a business, a business don't give about money, uh, our morals, they give about our image. But Coca-Cola for example, they have a lot of, uh, a lot of products of um, extremely violations of um, human rights issues in the third world, and then not in third world in the um, third uh, matrix, because uh, we don't live on one uh, imaginal land or something like that. We we'll have to stop saying first world, second world. Uh, that's all a little bit stupid to say, because we live not in one imaginal fantasy land. We don't live on different planets. We live on one planet, but human countries uh, like to think that what being in the cult, stay in the cult. And that the things that I do, uh, that they don't have to think and look the whole spectrum, but they, they have to um, make spectrums from their own, that they think that they don't have to uh, think about problems in other countries because they think that that don't affect them in the long run. Uh, this is a little bit insane if you ask me, the way uh, most governments think on this moment. And for example, I don't want to have, uh, if, I, if I want in the future have to put uh, apps on my channel to, sub to um, sustain my lifestyle, um, I don't want to have um, businesses putting apps on my videos that support animal cruelty like McDonald's or KFC or Pepsi. There's a lot of uh, human rights problems and animal rights problems with orangutans, for example, that have been extremely killed for uh, palm oil. And other products that have been uh, in products of uh, Pepsi. Pepsi is not 
vegan. This is a cruel product. That's what uh, been a reason. One of the reasons that the only tongues die in the poor countries in um, in Indonesia. Die. Maybe I'll do a video. So don't uh, don't be confused by that kind of uh, business strategies. The algorithm on YouTube has been completely uh, messing around with it. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of um, bigger and also smaller YouTubers, even some that been not here extremely controversial. Uh, that's you that lose extreme amount of subscribers on moment that they're put a video online and some of them don't can build a larger community because they've been over and over and over unsubscribed and the person that's going to subscribe to them and then I cannot find them again but humans that's what we get if we let businesses do what they want this is what capitalism means when you give a capitalist society uh, all the power a lot of power in the hands of uh, business people. You get the same kind of uh, behavior as dictators. They use. They want to ask for things that they don't be themselves ready to. Uh, and you get characters. One of the saddest lessons of history is that it's going to be being bubbled long enough. It seems to protect any efforts from the bondage. It's simple, it's so painful to realize that we need to When you give short and power, you almost never get it back. But I'm on to say with that. Is people have to learn to think for themselves and not believe anything blindly. Think logical. Make it sense, we make it not sense. And if it not makes sense, say then why not make it so make sense? In trying to make a video where I explain more about uh, business and how that works. Because I despise it and I not despise it for a bad reason. You know why I despise uh, the workings of most businesses? You know, and we also respond. This is not how uh, most marketeers work. And they, they are give actually not actually more about money than about uh, policies. Just saying. If, yeah. One of the uh, words may use the most in a business is. Uh, Money uh, trumps morals. I'll say a lot. So I think that it's, it will occasionally uh, go uh, back to normal with most channels. If not, uh, it will kill YouTube because their algorithm is flooded. Um, I will uh, advise uh, YouTube. To look a little bit better to the algorithm and find somebody that uh, can properly uh, make us what algorithm works instead that you uh, buy some, that you let it do by some teenager boy that uh, go uh, just uh, to uh, college because uh, he's cheap and I can do it for a lot of less than somebody else or something like that. <laughs> and I don't know for sure if that's the algorithm is created by a 10 year old child or 12 year old child. <laughs> but it can, if you look how uh, poor it being uh, created <laughs> and how much it actually uh, only protects the rich and make it hard for people that just start a channel to uh, get anything on YouTube or media.
I'm myself, um, so if I have say already, I do it not for my money, so get Maybe you also have to look if it been your passion and if it not be your passion and you think that you can do something uh, that get you more money. Do that. If, if you do it only for money, if you only make videos for money. Just say. Uh, I make only videos to uh, try to work. Uh, at the world to a better place. But I let people uh, see how it feels to be the victim. To try to let people think out of themselves. Not being myopic and have stupid double standards. Being points and uh, Business and uh, up here in yeah, YouTube. One times in a row, YouTube was you. Jude. Not money, Jude. Not uh, marketing, Jude. But you, Jude. That, that we all try to remember YouTube that. We're all being started with. So last, and I just want to say, well, that, you, that I give you now another uh, tip that you can do. You also can go yourself to other uh, advertisement uh, businesses that you think that uh, will support you and ask if they're willing to uh, put their apps on your channel. You can also do it yourself. What now uh, YouTube do is actually uh, their go to um, the businesses and uh, do the conversations to get the apps. But you also you yourself can also do that. If you truly uh, being afraid that YouTube take all the apps uh, from it, been a lot of uh, YouTubers that do that do that also. You can also do it if you are well, if you want that. If it only goes about money, or mainly about money. In a global culture of misinformation and childhood indoctrination dominated by false assurances of humane slaughter and the happy animals on our plates, by the baffling concept that it's acceptable to love animals and eat them, by the perverse sense of human entitlement and dominion over those we deem lesser than, by the deeply corrupt allegiances between the animal products industries, governmental regulatory bodies, and educational institutions producing shaky science-backed lies about our dire need for the very foods that are killing us, every single voice of truth is needed more than ever. Go feed. When darkness and light become well, the reality is true.